Rockstar cheers, please. Thank you so Rockstar much. Rockstar cheers. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everybody. Oh, my sexy liberal chiffon Happy is Monday. wet. My sexy liberal chiffon is wet. Uh, thank you, everybody. I can't. I can't. There's too many reviews to read. Thank you so much for yeah. all the rave reviews. And it's on demand. It's all the live panels been wedded to the rest of the the uh, show, mm-hmm. and you can get it on demand mm-hmm. at sexyliberal.com. Um, wow, that was like being at my own funeral. So time funeral. It's all good. We saw it. It's a little embarrassing. Oh, I just thought it. It was honestly, you know this, Travis. It was a way to trick a lot of famous people into being on one show. But yeah. I just we just asked for twenty seconds of happy anniversary, and then it turned into a you know tribute to Stephanie Miller, and uh, well, hopefully all the other sexy liberals who were all yeah. brilliant Saturday night, brilliant. I yes. cannot get over how brilliant Hal Sparks and John Fugel say and for Angela are. I can I cannot. Oh my God. Anyway, uh, it was uh, yeah, it was like being at my own funeral. And, so thank you. And and yeah. much and like my missed... own much like my own funeral, you guys were not there. I assume that you will have another thing with another guy someplace. And just release a, a statement of some kind. I sure. watched it. We'll release a, yeah, we'll release a statement through Trump's office. <laughs> yes. The yes. office of the 45th president. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. Uh, anyway, so uh, thank you. Wow. That was uh, that was uh, amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, I, w- yeah, we were... Stuff made me cry. I was, <laughs> Speaker Pelosi did a whole thing with the oh. seal of the Speaker of the House behind her and... People did musical numbers and uh, great stories. And anyway, uh, get it. It really is amazing. Yes. The, the... And Malcolm Nance got sexy. Oh, my God. Malcolm Nance, hilarious. In bed. <laughs> in bed. <laughs> being saucy. With uh-huh. some very white music going on in the Rude background. Pundit, That's right. Rude right. Pundit, who joined us a little bit, was hilarious. He told some yes. hilarious orgy story that, of course, did not happen, and, as far as I know. Well, well that you just was don't remember. actually, that was the, like, dress rehearsal for the Sexy Liberal Tour. That was the very first show in New York, yes. if you remember that. Yes, yes, yeah. the experimental show. Okay. That's All right. right. Uh, yes, I, a lot of people on Twitter, suddenly the buzz has started. Why do you guys not have your late night show on MSNBC? I'm like, huh. Well. Late night show to go up against, say, Bill Maher on Friday Night. Well, I think that's a fantastic idea. We're actually real liberals. Oh, was, yes. that, was that too much snark? Oh. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> Oh dear! Uh oh! Goodness! You know what, Sean? You know what it is. I'm in my I'm in my rap war phase, so I'm just I'm all <laughs> plucky these days. Uh oh! All right. Uh oh! Chris, you here. started the whining because yeah. now people in our vaccine rap battles, now they're whining. If they only have one degrees. jingle, or they're like, "How come you guys have more jingles?" Well, if a jingle is crappy, you demand a better one. Well, here's the thing. First of all, majority rules. Me and Travis and Sean are all now, you know, Team Moderna. Oh, call Moderna. Mm. I don't, you know, day. Chris, I don't want to blow up your world. I'm just saying, guess who else, Travis? Team Moderna. Dr. Fauci. Moderna. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh. Dr. Right. Red Leonard. I'm not saying. I'm just saying. Yeah. Boom. Okay. Legit. So you started whining. Wow. So then you ended up with more jingles than everybody. J&J only had one. We only had one jingle because ours is the best. Monkey call Moderna. No. I do have to say that that one is the best. You're right. Okay. Oh, and then I have a bunch of stick up the ass uh, emails of people that don't like oh. the vaccine rap wars for various reasons. Okay. okay they people... can go. Okay. Mm-hmm. Only one person gets it. Who is that? Hang on. They oh, can go stick Kathy, it. Kathy and Dar. Yes. You know what? You can use this vaccine, this rod that's up your ass. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's what you can stick in. You know, this is the method. That's what you can stick in. Good Lord. Yes. The rod up that man's butt must have a rod up its butt. <sighs> Kathy in Darwin, California, gets it. She says, Dear Steph, thanks to your show for being such a cheerful pro-vaccination pep squad. Thank you. Yes. That's all we're doing. Mm-hmm. Oh, so I found out yesterday my next-door neighbor, <coughs> who's also at Kaiser, he got Pfizer. Mm-hmm. He got it in the same time frame I did a couple weeks ago. He got Pfizer. Um, it, and that's what I thought is it depends on the day. I got Moderna. Just yeah. I didn't know what I was getting. I don't care what I got. Just get vaccinated. We don't care. We're just kidding. Yep. We're joking around. Yes. It's a little healthy yeah. competition to get vaccinated. I had no, and it said, five, and mine was just check Moderna. I didn't have a choice. Most people don't have a choice. It doesn't matter. Yeah. They're yeah. all great. It doesn't so matter. I, it happened to be that day. 
Um, we got Moderna. But anyway, and I would I said Rachel Maddow did a great thing um, Friday night. She got uh, J&J because she was yeah. she is. Can I just say, Travis, much more empathetic than I am. I am just like, get your shot, you stupid morons. Yeah, she was much more well, empathetic. She was like, look, I am okay. terrified of needles. I've passed out before. She went for J&J because it's one shot. But mm-hmm. she went through her mm-hmm. whole experience. And she said, look, it's understandable if you have vaccine hesitancy. But, you know, and she did a whole thing about here's the thing. Do it. It's not for you. Even if you don't care yeah, about yourself, right. it's for other right. people. It's mm-hmm. for anyone yes. you love or care about because, you know, you are much more likely to get it and pass it if you're not vaccinated. Mm-hmm. So uh, anyway, would you like to, could, should, I, could I should we do our new jingles first, Sean, or should we read our hate <laughs> letters about our jingles? Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, no. All right. Well, uh, you know, just be well, first of all, Chris, sorry, because it's Stephanie Miller, you know. And I'm Team Moderna. I'm just saying, I realized mm-hmm. that we only had one jingle. And because you won, right. you had three Pfizer jingles. Yes. So, Sean, you know, and because listener, because it's our show and liberal, everybody's liberal helpers. These came uh-huh. from listener mm-hmm. suggestions. Yeah. Moderna. Oh, Moderna. Really? Thank you. Yeah, I don't have a problem with that. I don't He's, have a problem with that at all. I am secure in my masculinity that you can call me a Moderna yeah, girl and I'm yeah. there Chris for Chris whined about this, this girl is on Pfizer. I was perfectly good. What what gay doesn't like this girl is on Pfizer? I am secure. Pfizer. When Chris is like, nah, 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 nah. all right. I, ad- I identify as male. Sorry. <laughs> so do I, but I have a good time. I'm, I'm secure in myself. <laughs> <laughs> that we're a liberal I'm, show. I'm, I'm, down. Like, I'm a Moderna girl. We're a liberal show. We're like, oh, you fam, whatever. Here's your jingle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but so then I was like, yeah, you're right. We get now listeners are piling on, so we got you know, we got more for Moderna. <laughs> Moderna. <laughs> Moderna. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, listeners. I stole these were thieved directly off Twitter. Ma- Moderna does not rhyme with Sharona. It's oh well f- power doesn't sound like Pfizer. I've got the power. Okay then. Okay then. <laughs> <laughs> Pfizer. Lame. It's getting kind of hectic. It's getting it's getting it's getting kind of hectic in the vaccine rap wars. That's right. Wait, do we do no? Do we do one more Moderna? I think so. Poor Sean. No. No. That, we didn't do no, milkshake. Oh. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh. That was oh. Three days oh, ago. and then I then J and J crowd started whining as well. So do we redo the? Okay. Okay. Do we do one? Yeah. One Johnson. <laughs> okay. I, like I that stole. One I, like... I stole one of your Pfizer's to give to the J and J crowd because all they had was Jack I and like Diane. That. I like that one better than this Jack is, and Diane. This is how yeah. lame we are. I, I, I was thinking that. I was thinking this one shot. This is how lame we are. We're like, what about CNC Music Factory? We're like, right, but they don't say that in any of the songs. <laughs> They're just by CNC Music Factory, right? We were looking yeah, for J and J. Okay. All right. right. Jack no. and Diane was the best. We oh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, just keep them coming, everybody, because Sean just cannot work enough. <laughs> Poor guy. His his main vaccine side effect is having to do more jingles. That's his okay. Well, he he got his vaccine on Friday and he was fatigued on Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you I completely okay. forgot about the milkshake. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that came from That's Damien why. Damien in New York, Pennsylvania. Well, Steph, I'm Team Pfizer, my wife's Team Moderna. Our friend isn't sure what shot she'll get next week. One thing I do know, once the three of us are fully clear, we plan to go out for milkshakes because no matter what team you're on, those things are effing delicious. Yes. yes. My Moderna brings all the boys and, I... and girls to the yard. <laughs> all right, it's good enough. Moderna. Sean, don't give me a cheap substitution for the milkshake you were supposed to do. My Moderna brings He up. was fatigued. He had side effects. He's going to use that for the next six things. I'm sorry. But Sean, your shot was seven months ago. I know. I had a sudden thing. My second shot was Is six it? months ago. Yes, yeah. exactly. Oh, all right. Would you like, should we do a couple stick up the ass letters? Okay. I have my hand okay, sure. Yes. Uh, oh, oh Halper Jeff from Asheville. For what it's worth, oh, I know when I don't get a salutation, oh, no. it's oh, right boy. on. Yeah. Subject line, vaccine teams. Seems misguided to me. My concern is that for people that have locations where they can only get one vaccine that's available, they might be disappointed 
that their favorite person on the show uh, is on another team. Well, that's easily <sighs> solvable. I'm the most, the only important person on the yeah. team, Jeff. Well, who cares? Yes, about it? Who, I'm the most. Who even remembers these yeah, people's I'm, names? I mean, I'm the most objectionable person, so don't follow me. Yeah, I, right. Yeah, Conrad, no. Conrad, who cares about you? What, yeah, is that your name? Right. Okay. Yes. I, hmm. um, what if there's just one person who puts off getting the X team vaccine that was available in order to get the Y team vaccine that sounded cooler on the Stephanie Miller show, and then that person gets sick with sick with COVID and dies because they could not join Team Y? Wow. Really? God. We've already killed someone in a Apparently. Apparently there has been a vaccine casualty. Vaccine rap wars are serious. There has been a fictional casualty in the vaccine rap war. I just don't get what's funny about vaccine teams. For me, it's not mm -hmm. even cute. It just makes me extremely uncomfortable. Please drop that particular running joke. Well, Jeff, I'm sorry, but not now that we've made new jingles. Yeah. Right? I mean if we had yeah, or... if Sean hadn't stayed up all weekend making new jingles, despite being vaccine fatigued, I would say sure. Moderna. Sorry, Jeff. There's Moderna. jingles. Once there's jingles, like if someone that we've made a well, jingle for, like, I don't know, goes on a killing spree, we are still having that person on because we made yes, a perfectly good jingle and we are not, we are going to ignore whatever the charges are. And, and oh. also once you ask us to stop doing something, oh, yeah. that just, that have just you, makes us do it Have more. you listened yeah. for any of the 16 years we've been on? If you tell me not to do something. <laughs> The most immature uh -huh. woman in the world, which is why you listen in the first place. Okay, and then Bill in That's Chicago. Right. Stephanie, I am... I just need my hate music. Stephanie, I am pretty indifferent about the vaccine rap wars, although the commonly used term is rap battle. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, Bill. Duly Stephanie noted. Stephanie Miller Show regrets the error that it's rap battle. <laughs> What I do object to is your casual reference to gang warfare as if it were a production of West Side Story. In the real world, gang... Oh. It's, a lot of people have done those, actually, from West Side Story. They posted mm -hmm. gifts, Team Moderna, Team... Okay. Yep. In the real world, gang conflicts continue to result in the deaths of many young black men as well as women and children who get in the way of badly named bullets. Please moderate your giddy enthusiasm and focus on the need for us all to get vaccinated. Bill in Chicago. We are now responsible, apparently, for... For gang warfare. More deaths. I, originally, it was yeah. only the one death we were responsible for. But, uh, okay, we, we apologize for all the deaths that our fake rap mm. battle and or war have caused. <laughs> and any uh -huh. anyone that was killed in the making of uh, jingles. Okay. And, and West Side Story, for that matter. <laughs> and and yeah. if there were any actors that were inadvertently killed in West Side Story or had a horrible, <laughs> like, broke a finger in a finger-snapping accident, we apologize uh -huh. for that, too, which is clearly also our fault. Okay, Tim on Twitter is more in the spirit of the vaccine rap battle. Steph, no, uh, he tweets, no disrespect to Funky M or Double J, but right now I'm kicking it old school with an armful of Pfizer, the OG Vax. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. Now that's throwing down, Tim. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're right, it's the OG by like a week, Tim. <clears throat> by like a week, it's, it's, got it's the OG God. And it's and it's slightly more effective. Oh, it is. Shut up. Just shut up. Shut up. <laughs> you know where you know where your vaccine works better, Chris? On the top of Shut the Up Mountain. That's where that works. Chris. I see. Okay. Shut, up. <laughs> shut all the way the f up until you reach the mountain where there are no more f ups to shut. Oh Lord, we almost lost uh, Sean in a horrible, uh, you know, uh, J and J poaching from Team Moderna. Yeah. On Thursday, uh -huh. and then he we reclaimed him on Friday, Travis. It was it was a little. You saw the light. It, you know what it was getting? It was getting. It was getting kind of hectic. Mm -hmm. He had he booked an I appointment, guess. but it was a cluster. Uh -huh. So yeah, he came back home to Team Moderna. That's what. Okay, call Moderna. Yeah, we only <laughs> needed one jingle because it was the best. Okay. All right. I think Pfizer's the best. I feel like you know, I just already... Just by looking at, looking at the data. All right. You know what? I just... You know what? Travis, a bitch is going to be cut, and it's not going to be one of us. It's a good thing we're virtual this still. Is, Otherwise... This is becoming yeah, exactly. yeah. Yeah. This is becoming untouchables now. You send one of us to the hospital. <laughs> we're going to send one of you to the morgue.